Hello there, it's Gabby here for you and as always I hope this finds you well. If you are listening to this on Wednesday the 19th of June, this is a uh, podcast is being released on my birthday and I can't believe how quickly the last year has gone but today I am celebrating my 61st birthday and as always I think a birthday is a time for reflection it's a time for gratitude for the people that I've got around me I've got some lovely messages lovely cards and presents which has been very much appreciated but also it's making me reflect on the fact that getting older I'm so happy to be getting older a lot of people are not happy about you know the the inevitable signs of aging I really believe that getting older is a privilege, especially when you've had a cancer diagnosis. It's a privilege denied to many people. And I know there's so many people who would love to be getting older who don't have that privilege. So today I'm remembering to be grateful for everything that I've got. And also I've reflected on something that I read recently about Helen Mirren, the wonderful English actress, who when she um, was 70 years old, somebody asked her what she'd learned about life. And if she had any advice for her younger self. Now, I know a lot of my uh, podcast listeners listen with other people, maybe got children listening. So I'd never swear on my podcast. I'm really conscious of that. And um, she used a, f- a few choice words and uh, that I'm not going to repeat. But uh, Helen Mirren's advice to her younger self was to use the word F off much more often, much more frequently. And that made me chuckle. And I thought it's a great attitude to have. And it's not so much that you want to tell people where to go, I think. I think really what she was saying was as she's got older, that she's got more sure of herself. She has got more self-assured. She's um, not so concerned with what other people think of her anymore. And this is certainly what I can relate to. I spent far too long as a young quite an insecure person as well as a child certainly and as as a young woman I was very insecure and really worried and conscious about what other people thought of me and as I've got older I've realized that what other people think of me it's not my business and it's not as if I go out of my way for people not to like me I myself I try to be true to myself I try to always act in integrity but if you've got any sort of a personality, if you've got anything to say, particularly as a woman, if you're outspoken, some people are not going to like that. And I found as well in the last year um, a person, very personal situation where I've put some boundaries in place that I maybe should have put in place long ago. And it's not gone down very well. But I really believe I've acted in integrity. And, and so I'm very comfortable with myself. I'm very comfortable with the fact of who I am and what I'm about. And I know that the people that love me, love me for who I am, for just being myself. I don't have to pretend to be anything that I'm not. And that's, as I get older, is something that I find a lot of comfort in. So not everyone's going to like you, shop news. But did you know what? The people that don't like you, they're not your people. Yeah. So I always try to remember that as well. The people who like you, the people who love you, they are your people. And if you can, spend more time with them. Because I know when I was younger, I spent far too long at work or worrying about things that never happened. And so I'm reflecting as well on the the question that um, Helen Mirren was asked, what advice would you give to your younger self? And so I'm thinking about what would I like to say to my younger self? And I'd like to say, if I could, don't worry about things that are not going to happen. And we all do it. It's the human nature. And again, I've talked about this before. It's only your ego trying to keep you, so, keep you safe. Your ego is trying to keep you safe by preparing you, if you like, for the worst uh, case scenario. So, you know, don't don't put yourself out there. Don't be outspoken. Don't, don't take a risk. Don't take a chance. Is your ego or your brain's way of saying to you, just stay safe stay safe you don't have to grow you don't have to develop you don't have to try new things just stay safe and that's what all those thoughts are trying to do is keep you safe but for me that's sometimes appropriate you want to stay safe but I also want to grow I want to learn I want to try new things I want to have an opinion as well and the thing I've learned is once you've got an opinion particularly as a woman not everyone's going to agree with you shock news not everyone's going to agree with you and not everybody's going to like the things that you're saying and again For me, as long as I'm acting in integrity, I'm not deliberately saying anything or doing anything that's deliberately to hurt anybody. I'm acting with what I think is right for me and the people close to me as well. So I'm really comfortable with that. So that'd be my advice to my younger self is don't worry about what other people think about you. It's not your business what other people think about you. 
The other piece of advice I'd really like to give my younger self is to dream big. And quite often when we're younger as well, you know, you hear people say things like, oh, that's just a pipe dream or, oh, you need to be realistic. You can't possibly have that that big, juicy life that you've dreamed of. And I'm here to say, well, why not? Why not dream big and why not go for it? Because as I get older, I'm getting maybe less risk averse. And I want to dream big. You know, I've, I've, I love my hometown of Manchester, where I'm from. But you know what? We've had the coldest, wettest June that I can ever remember. And so I was really lucky. I spent the first week in June in the Costa del Sol on the south coast of Spain. And it was so warm. Everyone was smiling. The sea was blue. The skin was on, you know, the, my skin was feeling the sun on it. It was just wonderful. And so my dream is to spend more time in the sun spend more time in Spain. It's a place that I absolutely love going to. I uh, need to le learn the language. But as I say, that's one of the things that I like about getting older is that I'm, I'm still interested in things. I'm really lucky that I'm still coaching people and I'm still sharing my experience from my cancer diagnosis. And the people that I'm working with, I get such a buzz out of seeing their transformation because I know what it's like to be scared. I know what it's like to feel alone and to feel like there's something wrong with you because you're not coping very well when cancer treatment finishes but you know what I'm here for people like that because that's exactly how I felt and I really thought there was something wrong with me I thought you know my medics and medical team had not prepared me for this at all I just thought I'd finish cancer treatment and jump back into my old life and everything would be tickety boo everything would be okay and it really wasn't um and so that's why I love doing the work that I do I know that I can help people and I know whatever problem comes up either I've experienced it or I know somebody who has, and I don't mind admitting when I don't know the answer and going away and finding out. One of the things that's coming up a lot for people that I'm working with is um, sleepless nights. And what can you do um, if you're woken by those thoughts that are going round and round in your head? And so that's something I'm going to cover on next week's podcast. I've talked before about getting into a good sleep routine, sleep hygiene, if you like, and circadian rhythms and how that can help. That can be a major um, cornerstone, if you like, of your healthy living plan is to eat well, to exercise well not excessively but just enough movement that your body is is um going to appreciate it but to sleep well is a huge part of that and if you are having disturbed sleep i'm going to be talking a lot more about that next week and what you can do if you maybe for some people you get to sleep okay but then you wake up and those thoughts are waking you up and then you're lying there in a cold sweat thinking what if what if and it's okay me saying very logically well it's just your ego trying to keep you safe and preparing you for the worst case scenario that's no way to live. Nobody wants to live in fear. Nobody wants to have sleepless nights because that's exhausting, isn't it? So I'm going to touch on that next week. Um, I'm getting ready. I've just come back from one holiday a week away and I'm getting ready for another little mini break. Um, I'm going to be going to um, Barmouth in North Wales, which is on the seaside, a beautiful place. I've been there, really lucky. I've been there a couple of times before. So I'm going to have a long weekend in Barmouth and see the sea. And I find looking at the sea and listening to the sea really, really soothing. And I was saying to uh, somebody the other day about this, about um, a lot of the meditations that I enjoy listening to. There's so many online now you can get. And I'm going to be recording some meditations as well for people, particularly with, with uh, struggling with sleep and with self-esteem and all the other things that I talk about. Um, but the sound of the sea, I find so soothing. Now, whether the sea is going to be as blue in Barmouth as it was in the Costa del Sol, I'm not really sure. But you know what? I'm prepared for all weathers because we're getting all weathers at the minute. It feels like in England, one minute, minute we feel like we're in the midst of winter and it's really cold. And then the next minute the sun comes out. But whatever you're doing this week, whatever weather, remember you can choose your attitude. You can reach out to me as well if you need any help with anything. I'm always here for you. I'm going to carry on celebrating my birthday month and reflecting on what a privilege it is to still be here and what a privilege it is for me to be able to speak to you as well. You know, what a time to be alive, the technology we've got and everything that that can bring to us. Um, thank you so much for listening. As always, I'd remind you to stay safe and stay sa sane. Stay safe and stay sane. And I will speak to you very soon. Have a wonderful week. Thank you for listening, my darling. Bye-bye.